Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm the Accidental Brewer. Hi, I'm Gisela. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the jalapeno and serrano pepper um, mead that we made, the uh, cap siscamels, uh, and see like, what's the difference between the two. I'm going to taste them and um, then do a little uh, bottling of them. So it should be fun. But as you can see, we've got our bottling bucket. i got this nifty little stand here for us to bottle out of. Uh, but first, we need to test and see how this is, if it's any good or bad or whatever. It's got a lot of dust on it. Put that there. All right. So, yep. It's exactly the right thing to do. You got this down pat. <laughs> all right so i think i stirred this up a little bit it's got a little bit of uh lease just hanging out but that is very clear so last time it went down to 1.00 i don't expect it to have changed very much when we uh tested it can you smell that though this is the serrano pepper one Smells very, very, very much like serrano peppers. All right. Does it smell on anything? There we go. All right. That looks like it's at 1.00. Right at it. Okay, cool. And I just remembered that I forgot to get the glass for me to taste it and see if it's nasty or good. Thank you. All right. Just give myself a moment. That way, when I edit this later, it won't be like crazy, stupid, messed up. So I should start this over again so I explain to you. All right. See how it tastes. Mm. It smells like peppers. It's very peppery. Doesn't it? Smells like it's going to be a little hot. It, it does have like a nice little bit of pepper spice to it. It's not um, super hot. I'm not sure that I would say that I love this, but it's not bad either. All right. trying a new contraption today. I got this plant stand that I'm going to try racking using. I don't know how good or bad that's going to be. So we're going to try not to uh, drop the brew. And we'll definitely be bottling this today. I think that it's ready. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, before we do that, let me... Uh... All right, so now we're bottling the, uh, the Serrano mead, not the uh, jalapeno mead. <laughs> I think it's fine the way it is. I don't really want to adjust it. I'm just going to like kind of let it be as it is. Uh, but one thing that I do want to do is pull out all the bottles that we will probably need. And we're going to do... Uh, corks today. We haven't done those before. So you can go ahead and stick that in there. And there we go. And uh, you guys won't have to watch us doing this. We'll just kind of go on until uh, we get all the bottles done. More moments later. We got five bottles out of the Serrano pepper capsicum out and one that I'm gonna have to drink probably tonight. So now it's time for the jalapeno.
a little bit more. Probably another full. See what that went to. Looks like it went to point one o o two. I mean, point one o o also. So they went to the same amount. This was closer to twelve percent. It's like eleven point eight percent ABV. Um, so sometimes them's the ways that things go. For some reason, I didn't exactly make the um, stretch between the two right. Oh, got a little bit. For some reason, I didn't make the stretch between the two right uh, when I added the uh, when I added the um, honey to it. So, capsicumel. Let's see what the jalapeno smells like. Very vegetal. It is not as spicy as well. No, wait a second. Now it's kicking in. It is definitely spicier than the serrano. <laughs> um, I have to say I like the Serrano a little bit better. Um, it's not, this one has like kind of a earthy tone to it, to the way that it, it tastes, which is nice, it's not bad. It feels a bit more precarious than it probably is. Let that rack over. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I need to change. It actually is a little bit sweet. It has like a little bit of a sweetness to it. Um, it is missing a little bit of the acid that like wine has like kind of a, a tannic nature. And so it's missing that. I may want to add some um, acid blend. That's why I have that stuff out there. Maybe just like a tablespoon. Everything is sanitized. But first, I have got to figure out the, uh, the acid blend situation. So let's add a little bit of this tartaric acid, which um, I think that this needs as opposed to the other one. I don't know why the Serrano didn't, but let's go for a fourth of a teaspoon here. And we'll do it one fourth at a time. It is a little bit wet. Can I see? Thank you. Just don't want to get the tartaric acid everywhere. Okay. Go for a fourth. Probably going to need a whole teaspoon, but I'm going to add it a fourth at a time. So just very gently stir that in and then. Just hold that right there because we'll probably need a little bit more. Hmm. Actually, I don't think it needs any more. That added a nice bit of mouthfeel to it and gave it like a kind of... Um, citrusy taste that I think it needs. It brought out some of the more like kind of citrusy flavors, I guess. Um, so that ended up being nice. All right, so let's, uh, let's rack it over. So for anybody that's, that's following along, you know, original recipe at this point added one fourth of a tablespoon of acid blend, uh, which is tartaric acid, to be able to help um, develop the flavor of this. There you go. There you go. It's nice and clear too. You can see through the, even though it has a very, um, a very like yellow color in the, in the bucket. 20 minutes later. So normally I'd have like all the bottles out, but I haven't labeled them yet. So just so you can see, five jalapeno, four 750 milliliter bottles, and one uh, 12 ounce bottle. 
and then one 12 ounce bottle and four uh, 750 milliliter bottles of uh, the Serrano. So that was a good yield for uh, this. There wasn't much waste, a little bit. I think there's like a couple drops that were wasted. Uh, other than that, you know, I think it was pretty successful. Um, I'm definitely, I'm gonna put one of these away, one of each away after I label them for maybe a year or so, just to see kind of how they age. And um, I think this was successful. I definitely think, even though Jalapeno has some more complexity to it, Serrano does make a good capsiscamel, and I'm thinking about making a capsic like a, a Serrano beer maybe, and do some other stuff. Maybe also want to do some other peppers. So maybe if you've had some experience doing pepper uh, beers and alcohols and wines and things like that, you'd have uh, something that you could kind of explain to us about that. Give us some pointers. Day two. But I'm going to open them up. And then I'm gonna pour some. I'm gonna give you some tasting notes on what I think happened here and what I can do to improve. mute that <laughs> it didn't get back in quite as well as I hoped it would um, just something to give it like a little bit of a soft stopper to keep stuff from falling in. So this on the right side is the capsiscamel and this on the left side is the jalapeno mead or the serrano caps. All right, let me start over. So this on my right side is the serrano capsiscamel. This on the left side or my left side is the jalapeno capsiscamel. So um, I'm going to see how they end up turning out. Has a very vegetal smell still. Uh, it's been, I think I um, did these on the 29th. It is now the 23rd of January. So a month in and that smell is still there. The perceived sweetness has really come out though. Uh, some of the more grassy vegetal notes that first were there have definitely died down. Um, these are both 11.8% uh, ABV and 10.8% ABV. There's about a point of gravity difference between the two of them. A point of alcohol by volume difference between the two of them. The jalapeno definitely still has some um, of that same flavor. It's got a little bit more of a metallic like kind of smell to it. A little bit more of that kind of feeling going on with it. I think the, the jalapeno is a little bit sweeter and tastes a little bit more like jalapeno peppers, which I like. Um, the Serrano has a little bit more like this, like a citrusy kind of direction that it's going for me. I like both of them. I think if I was going to improve them, because there's, there's a little bit of heat in both of them, but they're not as hot as they could have been. I might put a few of the seeds and veins in. I also think that if I went back and did it, I might sweeten them a little bit, like 
actually back sweeten them, stabilize them, back sweeten a little bit. And I think finally, um, one thing that I would do, because you do get the heat out of it, not, and this isn't like a young alcohol heat. I think I might add some other spices to it to bring out some of those, those things. And I'm not really sure what spices yet. Um, maybe like black pepper, maybe some cardamom, um, probably not cinnamon or anything like that because they, they're going like more in like a savory kind of direction. I wonder if I could add salt to it, if that would kind of bring out some of the brininess that probably should be there. That's something that I'll have to think about. But for now, um, I think these would be like really great to try again. And I'm probably going to do this again. I already have a uh, capsicum that's going on right now that I didn't film because I want to see if it actually turns out to be good. But that is a bell pepper capsicum And I put all the seeds and everything inside of it. That one might end up being great. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it might end up being really bad. Um, but uh, for this, I think these were a success. They're not too um, pungent, um, which is what I was going for. I wasn't trying to have like no flavor. I was trying to capture the flavor without um, having too much heat or controlling that heat. And I think I did, did what I sought out for. Um, and now I, I want to improve on these recipes. So these are definitely coming back. Um, not, I, they're not perfect in their f current form, but they are a success, if that makes sense. Oh. Ash back. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. This has been The Accidental Brewer, and uh, we do have a Patreon, and we have a Twitter, and we have an Instagram, all that stuff. That's all down the links. Uh, check them out if you, if you want to. Otherwise, hit the thumbs up button if you like this. Hit the bell if you want to subscribe and, and get notifications, and we'll catch you next time.